It's a new year and I am so excited about what God is going to do for each and every one of us. I just feel that if you had an opportunity to cross over into 2024, then God most definitely has a positive plan for your life. I know sometimes it's easy for us to be consumed and really focus on what is not going the way that it should be going in our lives. It's easy for us to lose focus, right? And focus on things that are going wrong in our lives. For example, this morning, you know, I woke up, I'm still sick, but I woke up and I was looking through my community and it just hurt my heart to see somebody, you know, that created fake profiles and saying things to you, um, with a similar name, it's not my name. You know, you have to be able to recognize the enemy. Because what I know about the way that evil works is the devil is a counterfeit. And so what he will do is he will come up in your life and he will mask himself in your experiences like it is God. There's someone who has come up into this community that has masqueraded themselves as if they are me. They took the O out of the name and put an A in the name and it's not me and they're messaging you, but I can't see it. Um, and I just want you to understand that that's, that's spiritual warfare at its best. We, we, it's nothing new under the sun that the enemy does that we cannot conquer, conquer in our lives. And we have to stay focused on why we're created in the first place. Stay focused on why God put us here to do what we're here to do in our lives. Because it's so easy for us to get drawn into the currents of low vibrational demonic activity that we lose focus on the very reason that God created us. And I want you to know on this beautiful day that God created you to come out from the crowd. He created you to come out from among them. You know, all of this time we've had an opportunity to really be still and sit in the presence of of God, camouflaged, scared to come out, scared to walk out on faith and be and do who God has called us to do. But now is the time. The stage has been set. You've been in the back wings of the theater for years and years and years. You've sat on pews. You've sat in corners. You've sat silently for a very long time. And I want you to understand that that is okay because everyone has their silent season. But for two 2024, what the Lord has revealed to me is this is the season of you coming out from among the crowd. He wants you to come out and begin to walk blindlessly by faith into your destiny. This is not the time for you to fold. I want you to know that the evil one has turned up the volume to distract you even more. He's turned up the volume in your life to get you to fall away from God. He's turned up the the volume in the midst of scandal and news and gossip on this social media. He has turned up the volume. And what I am seeing the, him, the devil do is he's attacking men and women of God. In various ways, he's doing this. But as children of God, then we can counteract the attack by staying closer to God, we counteract attacks by continuing to fast, continuing to pray, continue to push forward. We counteract attacks by daring to believe that God created us for something bigger than going up in a job, working eight hours of our day to give the most productive years of our lives to somebody just to retire to receive a social security check. I want you to understand that your life is so much bigger and so much brighter than that. And I want you you to understand that it's time for you to wake up if you haven't well, awoken. Awaken. I hope I said that right because st I'm still sick. But it's time for you to really get real with the reason why you were created in the first place. 
It's time for you to stop focusing on trying to get this man or trying to get this woman or trying to be rich. It's time for you to really focus on the very reason that God allowed you to enter into this space the year that you entered into it. Because I want you to know that it's a mandate and a destiny and a calling that is on your life. And God is saying to you today that he wants you to come out from among them. He wants you to come out from among unclean things. He wants you to come out from the the trance, the, the hypnotic sequence that you've been stirring in and walking in and just being a part of. He wants you to snap out of it. He wants you to come out from among them and do the will of God. God created you to do something that's massive in this environment. He created you for something bigger than a college degree to go and work for someone else. God told me that as a chosen one, that the gift that he has given you, you work for God. The gift that God has given you will free up time, will free up your hands, and you do a fraction of the work for double, quadruple, a hundredfold return on the pay. But you will never get to where you need to go being caught up in this system, being caught up in gossip, being caught up in low frequency, low vibrational, demonic things, getting caught up in distractions to deter you from your destiny, come out from among them. Come out from unclean things. Come out from the sin that you may be in. It's okay, baby. Just come on out from all the things that people have lied to you about who you are. Come on out from the abuse that you have endured your entire life. Come on out from the lies that they told you that you would never amount to anything in your life. Come on out from the poverty mindset that you have been brainwashed to just buy into. Come on out from amongst the sin and the traditions of all of this fake, phony garbage that the evil one has planted in your life because he knows that it separates you from the love of God. I heard him say, just come on out from among pagan activities and pagan mindset and pagan rituals that you're doing every day that you don't even understand that you're doing. But I heard the Lord say that when you get closer to me, I will begin to pull away the blinders that have been on your eyes. I will begin to open your eyes to the lies that you have been told your entire life life. But see, if you come on out from among them, God says that I, for 2024, is specifically the year for God's chosen elect. This is not a year for New Year's resolu resolutions of things that, you know, goals I want to accomplish. That's just tipping just the surface of this iceberg. But what God has for you is something that's going to require you to come out. <coughs> Excuse me. From anything that you've done prior. He wants you to do some homework. I want to give you some homework. <coughs> oh, please forgive me. Pray for me. The first thing I want to tell you is this. I want you to research what's the next holiday we've got. I think it's St. Patrick's Day or Valentine's Day. It's one of them. I want you to do me a favor. And I want you to look up the origins of Valentine's Day. And I want you to research that like your life depends on it. Because it really does. See, when you're caught up into pagan things, we are romanticized. Because if we get romanticized with candy and roses, then it stirs up what? An emotion. So once an emotion is hooked into something that's pre-satanic, then your mind will begin to rationalize with the lies. I want you to look up the origins 
a Valentine's Day. What it originated from, what it truly, sincerely does mean. And I want you to come back to this video or email me privately at shondainspires at gmail.com. And I really want you to tell me what that means. Tell me if God would want you celebrating that. If you know the origins of it. Oh, and since you're doing that, the biggest hoodwink of the century is Easter. I want you to look up the origins of Easter. And you tell me what you think. Because I want you to understand that a part of you coming out from among that, you got to let this superficial, pagan, blasphemous, ritual crap go. I want you to look up the origins of that Easter bunny and them eggs and whatnot. And tell me, what does that have to do with the resurrection of our Savior? I want you to look up Valentine's Day. I'm not playing this year. And I want you to look up the origins of Easter and holler back at me and let me know what you think about it. The gig is 100% up. God wants you to stand in your power as the chosen elect. It doesn't matter what everybody else is doing. The only thing it takes to change this whole paradigm that we're living in is what you are doing. And I tell you the truth. God is saying, come out from among them and do the will of God. And trust me, anything that you need, want, desire will be added unto you. But you got to come out from among the crowd first. Okay? I love you. Happy New Year to you. And until the next video, guys, peace. Because I always believe in you. Bye now.